Hello and welcome to another Ginger Man Petition video. I've been very busy over the last few days going through all your comments and all your advice from the results day video. And I've been through 113 separate comments. Try and distill to try and find out that key advice that if you're doing the exams in 2024 or 2025, what they would have liked to know two years ago. So I think I've boiled this down to five key tips that if you take these on board, this will make your life a lot easier to get those A and A star grades. Okay, number one is building strong foundations and building strong concepts. So prioritizing, at least at the start of the course, understanding the fundamental concepts of the course. There is a tendency to get stuck in the past papers immediately, but you do need to have those fundamental concepts before you can do active past paper or topical past paper revision. And that leads in very nicely to point two, which is focusing on topical past paper practice. Again, one of the biggest mistakes that some of you have actually made is just focusing on doing past paper after past paper after past paper. But by focusing on topical past papers, particularly on areas of weakness, that can help you improve your grades slowly but surely, but then focusing on one topic at a time. And number three is something I haven't really talked about on the channel much so far, and that is a balance in your preparation. I've noticed many of the comments that you've mentioned here have either been from overstudying, so getting overly stressed, overly anxious by the amount of revision that you're doing, and that can lead to tiredness, first of all, also the stress and anxiety, and then you can't do your best performance in the exam. And also on the other side, this understudying, where you haven't done enough practice to really grasp and understand the concepts and the past paper style questions that often come up, and then that can lead to sometimes silly mistakes, not understanding what the question wants you to do. And if you like this video so far, you'll see my penguin just behind me. Again, let me know what name I should give the penguin for my future videos, okay? And he can accompany me through IA level and IGCSE maths. Number four is also a mindset orientated idea here, which is staying calm during exams. So not getting overly stressed, or overly anxious as you go into the exam hall. Now, one of my pieces of advice to get that calmness is by doing exam paper practice at home, exam conditions, no technology, put that phone all the way at the other side of the room and then practice actually sitting in that silence. Enjoy the silence is what I call it. And by having that calmness of approach, that uh, self-confidence, not overconfidence, but self-confidence, that can help you then gain those extra marks through that calmness of approach. And number five, which uh, possibly you don't want to hear here, is embrace the process. Uh, quite a few of you said these in the comments. The idea of this is a learning process, this is for your learning growth, and there's no way around uh, hard work. And you'll find, if you're doing A-level maths at the moment, I'm sure many of you would agree that suddenly you have that step up from IGCSE to A-level. And by having those good and effective work habits, that will make that transition a lot easier. Not just for maths, but also your other subjects as well. So for the people that actually made the comments, do you think I've missed anything out from the comments that you've made? And for those that have got their exams coming up in 2024, 2025, uh, will those tips help you? If you take those on board, do you think that will get you those A and A style grades? Again, of course, always let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in my IGCSE math system, where I go through in three months how you can get yourself exam ready, then check out the video just above my penguin over here.